In the previous session, we had an introduction to BigQuery. So we figured out what BigQuery is, what is it good for, where can we use it, where should we stay away from it, what are the use cases, what are the case scenarios. We saw some examples, but today we want to get hands on. We want to start using BigQuery for the first time. And if everything is good, we want to try and create an end-to-end -end data pipeline for analysis and data extraction and reporting from scratch in under 90 minutes. We have some planted mistakes in between and some mistakes will happen that not accounted for. The brief for today's BigQuery hands-on workshop is that we want to perform search query analysis search query analysis. So where do we have our search queries? Where do we have our web data? We all know that we don't have search query information in Google Analytics for each session. We get that not provided. Google doesn't allow us to see which keyword brought traffic to a session. But we know that we do have query data in Google Search Console. In Google Search Console, we can see which query resulted in how many number of impressions and clicks, but we cannot see anything else. We cannot see the number of sessions or conversions or things like that in Google Search Console. Those data points are stored in Google Analytics and are at the session screen. Okay. Now, a Google Analytics session, we know that has a single landing page. So landing page is a property of a session and it is session scope. We do have access to the landing page for each Google Analytics session. Now, we want to use this information. We want to get our search query and landing page and impression and click data from Google Search Console, landing page session, conversions, and goal conversion value from Google Analytics and combine them together to see the impact and performance of each search query on Google Search result pages, on our conversions, and value created on our website. Okay. So, Combining this, we can see the contribution. We can see how much each search query contributes to traffic acquisition, goal conversion, and goal value. And finally, we want to calculate the rank for each search query. So based on all the data points that we have, we see we want to sort search queries based on the rank of performance. And for this, I want to define a metric called value per thousand impression. So for each thousand impression of a search query, how much value, as I define as gold values in Google Analytics, if I have done that, am I getting from each thousand impressions of that search query in search result page? Okay. The result at the end in Data Studio should be something like this. So this is the thing that we're trying to create today. We want to get search query, number of impression. This comes from Google Search Console, number of clicks. It comes from Google Search Console sessions, goal completion, goal value. These come from Google Analytics. And finally, we want to calculate value created per thousand impressions by dividing the gold value for each search query by the number of impressions. All good? Yep. Okay. Here's just a quick screenshot of how I set values and goals in the Google Analytics account that we are going to use for this example. This is my own website's account. I only have three goals. I don't have any transactions. One of the goals is based on number of page viewed per session. So two or more pages, I value that as 10 cents of a dollar. One is clicking on an affiliate outbound link because I have some affiliate links on my blog. I value that at a dollar per click because I expect people to convert and get, so I can get a commission from the sales on the other end. And if someone stays more than five minutes during a session, I guess again, define the, at that session of having a 10 cents of a dollar in economic value, not the transaction or revenue, but I value that goal this much. Okay, so this goal, um, clicking on a link, it values to me 10 times the staying on a page or staying on a website or viewing three pages. So this is some background information. 